turn an all uppercase font like this. Ooh. Actually, I'm working on one right now. Let's take a look. This is Maladroit. I always start with the letter O because it's symmetrical. So I can put an equal amount of space on either side of the O. Change the space by just grabbing the left side bearing. I'm working a Fontographer here. I like to keep a kerning window open and a letter window open. So I get the O, Ohio, because the H is symmetrical, the I is symmetrical. So I can put an equal amount of space. Kerning window works the same way. Just grab the little left hand there and move it around. So I've got equal amount of space on those letters. And then I'll do the rest of the symmetrical letters, which are A, H, I, M, N, O, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. So I'll go through each of those, make sure there's an equal amount of space on each side of those. Then you can use those letters as a reference point for the rest of the letters that are shaped like that. So for O, you got C, which has a round side, B, D, G, P, R, S. Drag to make it a little bigger. So if I look at how much space I've got on the O, I want about the same amount of space on the side of the C, on the side of the B, on the side of the D there, got that far away, G, the right side of the P, the R, S needs a little more. There, so that takes care of the curvy letters. Then you've got letters with straight sides like B, D, E, F, H, L, etc. So I can use my H as a reference. And look at the side of the B, left side of the D, left side of the E, left side of the L. Now once you've done that for all A through Z, you're in pretty good shape. Well, plus you gotta do it for upper and lower case. So you gotta do your upper A's, upper B's, upper lower C, upper lower D. So you've gone through all those, then you don't have a lot of kerning to actually do. Now spacing obviously is a space on either side of a letter. Kerning is the space between any two letters. And you naturally are gonna have some pairs that don't look so good. THT looks pretty good, but TAT looks pretty bad. You got a big space there. So you just grab, you click on the letter, grab the little K, scooch them over. And the pairs I do at the bare minimum, you got TATOT, -T, you've got FAFO. P-A-P-O, grab those, scooch them in. V-A-V-O, W-A-W-O, do all those, and Y-Y, L-T-L-Y. That is pretty much the basic kerning that you need. If you want to get fancy, you can do the T's, commas and periods, same letters, V's with commas and periods, Y's with commas and periods, tuck those commas underneath the T's a little more. And you're in good shape. At one last one, you gotta make sure you always check. Check the space between your L and your I because if that's wrong, oops!